This is number 15 from section 3.8. They're looking for dy dx, so y is their function, x is our variable. So everything looks pretty straightforward here. So what's going on to find dy dx? Well, we have an ln and we have this weird thing. And because of these parentheses, oh, there's two ways we can do this. I'm gonna do this two ways, the long way and the easy way, okay? Using properties. But if I don't notice a property, watch what happens. I have ln of this big box. Oh no, that's gonna be a pain. What's ln of box? Well, what's ln of x? Derivative, derivative ln of x is one over x. So this is gonna be one over box times derivative of box. Well, let's do that. Box is x plus one over x minus one. And the derivative of a box is a quotient rule. OMG, I am not happy with this. We have the derivative of box and it's gonna be a big quotient rule. How do we do that? Low, whoops, that's not low. Low d high minus high d low all over low squared. You're gonna like the second way so much better. You will, you will, you will. Well, what do I do? See this, I'm dividing by a fraction. I'm multiplied by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna flip this and multiply. So I'm gonna get x minus one, x plus one over x minus one squared times, I'm gonna flip that. So once again, I'm dividing by a fraction. I multiply by it flipped. So I flip it over and magically, one of these cancels one of those. And let's do some simplification here. Um, distribute this here and here, I get x minus one minus, and distribute the minus sign, I get minus x minus one over x minus one, x plus one. And then that x minus that x cancels. So I have negative two over x minus one, x plus one. And I believe that's my answer. But let me show you a secret. And you're gonna say, dang, I should have seen that. It's so much better. Let's back up and make our life mucho better here. I'm gonna get rid of all this and say, hey, what are the rules of LNs? Once upon a time you learned LN of a fraction is LN of the top minus LN of the bottom. Remember that? Remember that rule? Well, you should. So this becomes LN of box. This becomes LN of box. Look how nice this is. The derivative of ln of box is one over box times the derivative of a box minus, and the ln of box is one over box times the derivative of box. Wasn't that way easier? That was way easier. Now we need to get a common denominator. So here's what we're gonna do. We say to ourselves, gee, I want a common denominator. What's missing from the first one? I need an x minus one. So I multiply by one, which looks like that. And then the second one, I wish there was an x plus one. So I multiply by one, which looks like that. And then I have a common denominator of x plus one, x minus one, and look at the top. I have x minus one minus x plus one those will cancel x minus x, and I end up with minus two over x plus one, x minus one. Mucho better, right? That's how you do 